Developments tonight in the deadly U.S. cargo plane crash in Afghanistan. 7 Action News has learned a team of federal investigators are heading to the crash site. And tonight we are learning the names of the victims. Six of the seven are from Michigan. The pilots in command were Brad Hassler from Trenton and Jeremy Lipka from Brooklyn, Michigan. First officers Jamie Brokaw from Monroe and Rinko Suman from Canton were also among those killed. Loadmaster Michael Sheets from Ypsilanti and maintenance crewman Gary Stockdale from Romulus are also listed as victims. We've been reaching out to the families of those men, and tonight two of them are talking. 7 Action News reporter Julie Bonovich joins us live from Belleville tonight with more on the people affected by what appears to be a tragic accident a long way from home, Julie. That's right, Stephen. And the company brought grievance counselors out here to the Holiday Inn here in Belleville to help some of the families. We talked to some of them before and after the families of the men from Romulus and Trenton. My brother's been a pilot for since he was 19. I used to fly with him on Cessnas all the time. Bill Hassler's brother, Brad Hassler, was a pilot on the National Airlines cargo plane that crashed in Afghanistan. He loved flying, um, but what he loved more than flying was his wife of only two weeks. Married just two weeks ago with two daughters, 11 and two years old. The newlyweds expected their third child in October. They had put off their honeymoon until Brad had some free time from work. I love my brother more than anything, and if I could, if I could trade places with him so that he could be with his family, I would in a heartbeat. Bill and at least two dozen more family members of the six Michigan men who died came to the Holiday Inn for a private meeting that National Airlines held with the families. Other grieving families, like the relatives of 51-year-old Gary Stockdale. Gary was a mechanic on the aircraft. His brother said Gary knew flying was dangerous and had told him that you will either die in a car crash or in a ball of flame in a plane. Stockdale's sister Gail tells 7 Action News that her brother loved his job and his six nieces and nephews. She also tells us he always wanted to make sure everyone was happy no matter what, even if it meant he had to do without. There should be more people like him in the world. I will never forget him. He's the best brother a sister could ask for. And we've been reaching out to other families who say they were just too hard to talk again tonight. Understandably, our thoughts are with them. National Airlines still does not know the cause of the crash. Live from Belleville, Julie Vonovich, 7 Action News. All right, thanks a lot, Julie.